and five problem pups with a passion for poop. Apple. Oh. Okay, and you say she eats? She likes old poop. She likes the staler the better. Stale old poop. Yeah, mm -hmm. she likes the hard stuff. That's that's her preference. <laughs> okay, all right. This is Lily. Hi. She um, was our third Hello. pug. Hello, Lily. Well, yes. Hi. She's our third pug, probably the worst poop eater ever. She'll and catch it as it's coming out of Milog's butt. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Don't you be licking me. Eaten it already this morning, so be careful. I love pugs, but poo eating pugs, they were all over me. Licking my face, licking my hands. Ooh. <laughs> She's like, what's wrong? All right, okay, so this is two. The other one. Mm -hmm. This is Apple. Apple Babble. Apple. Hi, Apple. Do you eat poop as well? Yeah, she likes oh, it my... soft too. Well, they all eat poop? Yeah, every single one of them. Dogs can eat their own poo. And that's actually quite normal. It just doesn't fit well with our society. And yeah, it's gross. There are lots of health issues involved with dogs that eat poo. I would like to see some of this poop eating behavior. I'm interested to see how Dina and Scott deal with their poo eating pugs. I know that they've tried things in the past that haven't worked, but I would like to see it from my own eyes. Wow, they got a great backyard. Yeah, it's nice and big. Ooh. So do they lap it up as it's coming out or after it's touched the ground? They like to follow each other around as they see one about to poop and try to catch it, but they'll lap it up as it's sitting around. So either way is fine. Yeah, they don't really care. We've tried a lot of things, the medicines in the store, the um, cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper, the meat tenderizer. A little Tabasco heard. sauce. Tried it all. Just makes it better. Kind of desperate with it, mainly because of illness. You know, we don't want them to get sick from it. Of course. Um, OK, let us go back inside. You go back inside. I'm going to go and just stay around the side of the house to see if I can see them do it, OK? OK. All right, let's go back in. She was going to finish the whole lot. Oh, yeah, she will. The whole lot. Uh-huh, if you let her. The food in their bowls is perfectly good for them. They do not need to be supplementing their diet by eating poop. It's just getting it all over their faces, ingesting it, and then you having to wipe their mouths. But also, it's a health risk to you. Because if you don't clean your hands properly, you can become very ill. There is a huge problem here. All your dogs, in some way, shape, or form, eat poop. Yeah. So what are the causes of coprophagia, or dogs that eat poop? Attention-seeking behavior. But with your dogs, I don't think that's the case, because they do it more when you're not there. Allelomimetic behavior. This is when they see you pick the poop up. That's what they're doing, too. I think it's a little far-fetched, and with your dogs, I don't think that's the reason. Okay. Number three, maternal behavior. Do you think the dogs are doing it because of maternal behavior that they witnessed? They didn't eat it right when they got here. It was like learned from the others in the house. I agree with you. No. Okay. Far-fetched. Do I think that punishment is the cause of the poop eating in this house? No. Well, I, yeah, I really doubt it, because Apple has brought us turds as presents in the house when she was a puppy, so. Yeah, I would say no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Insufficient food. No. Bad nutrition. That is not the reason. Lack of environmental stimulation. Again, I don't think so. Medical causes. Again, I don't think that. Learned behavior. Yeah, that's the one I'm going with, a big, strong yes. <laughs> What do you think, Scott? Mm hmm Yeah, you bet. This is a learned behavior because they see others do it. Oh, what are you eating? All right. Oh, okay, that smells good. I'm going to eat it too. 
there you go, the habit started. Really difficult to break. Reinforcement, yeah, cause poop tastes nice. Right. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Extra meal, food, love it, gonna eat it. And I know you have done everything in your possible power to make the poop taste unpleasant. So that doesn't leave us with many options. Okay. Putting stuff in their food doesn't work, so we have to come up with a management plan. Okay. And that's what we're going to do next. Okay. Poop eating in the yard is a massive, massive problem. And I want to train the dogs to leave the poop on your command. And this is all about setting your dogs up for success. Now, why have I got these flags in my hand? No guess. I want to teach the dogs to leave these flags because eventually these flags will be associated with the poo in the garden. One by one, the dogs need to be taught to stay away from the flags. Oh, Lily, <laughs> what are we gonna do if you come here, my darling? Whenever the dog turns away from the flag, Victoria rewards it with a food treat. Now I'm just gonna produce the flag and I hope she backs away. Good girl. Good girl. Next, Scott and Dina have a turn, and Victoria introduces the next stage of the technique. Every time the dogs go near the flags, Scott and Dina will tell them to leave it in a firm tone. That's it, good. Good girl. As you present it, say, leave it. Leave oh, it. okay. Yes. Leave it. Good girl. You can put it more in front of her face. Okay. I mean, really, get her to leave it. Okay. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Well done. Fantastic. Now all the dogs know the leave it command. The next stage will be to apply the flags to the poop. Now this is where you watch like a hawk. She's going around there. Here she goes. So it's her spot. Poo poo. Okay. And look, who's following her? Tell Lily to leave it. Leave it. That's it. Leave it. That's it. Be good. Good. The most effective way to stop a dog from eating poop is to clean it up after they've gone. But five dogs all pooping at the same time, that's an almost impossible task. So I've introduced a flag system. So if Scott and Dina can't clean it up right away, they need to flag it. I think one might be pooping in the back. Okay. So stop there. Put a flag in there now, near the duty. Yep, here we go. Here's another poop. OK, we got poop. Leave it. Good. Scott, raw. Leave it! Good. Let's back away from it. Because I think this is such a severe problem, I think you do have to be pretty harsh. It's better that the dog is a little fearful of the flag than it ingests poop and gets parasites, worms, or a disease. Lily did try to sneak over there a couple times, but uh, we were pretty quick on our toes. It's a real success. A combination of prompt cleaning, flagging, and verbal commands. Leave it. Good. Mean none of the dogs eat any poop. You are stuck with the most difficult behavior habit a dog can have to break. It is going to rely on you being vigilant. It's not easy to get one dog to stop eating poop. It's extremely difficult to get five. Leave it. This is going to be a tough problem to crack, and Scott and Dina better stick to their guns could be in our wildest dreams here. Do you ever think that they will just leave it? To be realistic, and there's no point in saying, yeah, a few years time, it'll be fine. It might be, but then again, it might not. Should we go inside, pugs? Come on. Keeping on top of the poop problem will be a huge job. Keep on going with the flag training, with the leave it training, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, okay. all right, thank you, bye. Bye, guys, see you later. Victoria left us homework. The poop eating is going to be the most difficult to, to stop or even get under control, given how long they've been doing it and how much they 
They love food, even though we don't think poop's food. Outside in the backyard, Scott and Dina are working together to combat poop eating. Leave it! Leave it! I told you to use a firm tone with your dogs, not shout at them. I don't think they really are processing the word leave it. I think they just hear there's a loud voice. What is she eating? Poop. See how effective the flag program is. I know you're having trouble with the pooing. I wouldn't say anybody really has the concept of leave it. Lily seems petrified and just kind of sits in her own little corner outside. And several times I haven't even seen her go to the bathroom when I've taken them out. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I think we just, we definitely need help with the flag system. Dogs will listen to intonation, fur, boom. It's an unemotional, mm -mm. and I think that's something that we have to work on. OK. Um, the fact that Lily is walking around, this doesn't look like a, a dog that's traumatized. She's peeing, which is great. A, a dog that's really terrified of going out in the yard wouldn't even be peeing in the yard. I think it's important to keep your tone so it's not, leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave. No, it's like, leave it. It's a, I really mean business here. I don't want to freak you out, but I mean business, and you have to listen. Leave it. That toe was better, Dina. The clearer command has an immediate impact. <laughs> she is listening to you now, no doubt about it. Good girl. You got it. Fantastic. Lily even backs away from the flag without being told. Good girl, Lily. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. She's got Good it. Girl. That's what we want. So, hey, it is working. I know it's a lot of work for you both but you're getting there. Now I think we need to reinforce her too. When the dogs leave the flags and poop, Scott and Dina should now reward the behavior with a toy. Apple. I think this is great because it'll keep her in a smaller area and it'll also keep her occupied. <laughs> <laughs>